Yes, sir, Mr. Caldwell. We're just going to see how far this boy can reach. Thirty-two across the board. Shoot go. Uh, Five hundred is the limit, sir. What do you want, Pete? To place the numbers for a thousand off and to come out. Roll. A thousand goes. Tell me now. Here they go now. Oh, hold a second, sir. Five hundred more. You bet with both hands, don't you? Son, I'd bet with my feet, too, if I could get them up on the table. Roll, boy, roll, roll now. I'm going to get back money I left here years ago. Do it out. They're rolling now. Tell me now. Eight easy eight. No field eight. Now the hard way. Who likes the two fours? Rolling for eight. Shooter eight's a point. Come. Come on. Eight for the money. Same here. standing on my head, tossing him backwards. Pardon me, but doesn't luck have anything to do with it? Almost everything. Hunches don't count. Superstitions don't. They try, but nobody ever really breaks the laws of probability. I was slightly busy over there, I must admit. But I'm surprised I didn't notice you. You lost a lot, didn't you? But I still have my health. What are you drinking? Oh, nothing, thanks. Not even milk. <laughs> you know, you ought to have a more positive attitude when you come into a casino. How do you expect to take away all their money in a purse like that? And no pockets. Somebody's going to have to instill confidence in you. 
Well, I was going to bet a dollar if someone showed me how, but everybody was playing for so much, I felt like a sissy. House wouldn't mind. Would you show me how? Well, try the big six or the big eight. Not the best bet on the table, but I'm sure you'll get some action. Okay. Thanks. Big six and big eight. I'd like to talk to you. All right. You want to hear something? Not particularly, but I have an idea I'm going to anyway. You're insane, boy. Well, you are entitled to your opinion, I suppose. Excuse me, I want to see how somebody's doing at the table. No, 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 wait a minute, I want to ask you something. What? My name's called Led Caldwell. Come on out. My name's Pete Graven. Listen, I want to know how much money you got right now. None. How much you have when you started playing dice? When I started. You mean the game just now or last oh, year no, or what? The game, just, just now, how much you have? Two silver dollars. Boy, I believe you. Is that all? No, oh, I want to buy you something. I want to buy you a drink. I want to buy you a steak. Anything you want. Look, boy, I told you I want to talk to you. Honey, honey, come here. Give me the, give me the usual on the rocks. Anything for you, Pete? Get black coffee, Johnny. Listen, how much did you blow? Just under 10 grand. Oh, I did worse than that. I went for over 30,000. You didn't do any worse than I did. I went busted. And you, you built that whole thing. Just a couple of silver dollars. Like an architect. Oh, you can say that again, boy. <laughs> I hope I can. <laughs> I feel almost like a piker. You play like one, Mr. Cobo. <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean that. I mean, son, I got in the neighborhood of $10 million. I've never lived around there. I like you, boy. That's good. They say gamblers are really only looking for love. Love? Oh, no, that's for children. No, I mean... You got real style. You don't slop around that dice table the way I do. You got style. You built that hand like it is a, a big company, a, a trust. You, son, but you are a little bit insane. You know that? That seems to be the consensus around here tonight, doesn't it? What? Just, now, just what would you do if you had my $10 million? Try for 20? <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. Is that what you're going to try? Oh, no. I just want to beat him. Just once, just, I beat everything I ever tried except those tables. Every time I come to Las Vegas, I walk away a loser. I can't stand that. You stand it better than I can. For 15 years, sonny. Casino guys, they roll out that red carpet for me. Boy, they'd carry me here on the shoulders barefoot. I'm their prime sucker. I think you're right. What are you going to do now? Chill, I guess. Oh, no, no, son. A man of your talent chilling the table for measly $10 a day. A man of my means. Listen. Hey, boy, listen. Now, we gamble for different reasons, you and me. You need the money, I need to win. And maybe we could both quit. Quit? You believe that? <laughs> no. Well, I keep talking. You're doing a buying. This, son. I'm going to stake you. You're gonna go play with me. Uh, we got, see, we got this saying at home that money goes to money, and we're gonna prove that. We're gonna waltz over to that table and shoot dice. How long? Till I win $200,000. That's luck. That can make it interesting for everyone. Three a loser on the line. You lose. Already? I thought you said it was a good bet. I said it was nice and simple. I don't give up the ship. I try it again. Listen, boy, about that 200, I'll be back, okay? Okay. About that $200,000. Now, suppose I was to take her. I cut her right down the middle. 50, 50. $100,000. Now, that's a nice round figure for you. That's the most interesting proposal I've had tonight, Mr. Cobo. I tell you, I get him to pry the lid off that limit. I can take these bozos. Makes you think you can do it. You haven't been able to do it yet. Do you know how to play? How far are you willing to go? In a hole? Uh, half a million. Get it. What? You've got to make a commitment all the way. 
There's nothing magic about dice. They either work for you, they work against you. But if you want to beat a table for 200 grand, you're going to have to be able to wait them out. A million if you have to. No more. You are insane. I don't tell you how to raise oil wells, Mr. Cobo. Thanks anyway. Well? I'm looking for a fella. Tall, dark-haired, good-looking. Aren't they all? <laughs> all right, you've had it. You heard him. He's my husband. Ed, you've got 48 hours to make a fool out of yourself, which ought to be long enough. You've got 48 hours per year to get it out of your system. Well, I've got 48 to get it out of mine. Well, sweetheart, I'm just looking for a friend. Where were we? Uh, who's the character? I told you, he's my husband. Also, he has several million dollars we have the chance against him. Are you sure that's all you really want? Coffee? Two coffees, please, Chris. I, uh, I asked them about you when you were betting so much. What did they say? They said you were a player. That's right. What does that mean? A player? Hmm? Well, the dealer is the house. The house doesn't gamble. The gamblers are suckers. Unless he's a player. <laughs> you understand? Um... You mean a player is a good gambler? That's right. Is that all you are? That's all anybody is. Some people just gamble for different things. <laughs> Could you quit? Anytime. Anytime I'm broke. Who's your problem? A marriage. Now that is a gamble. Yes. And I lost. The next Thursday, my six weeks will be up and it'll be official. I guess I wasn't a player. You're wrong. Something tells me you are a player. Six easy way six. Winning number is Number eight made it hard. Pay the Why don't we look at it kind of like a, a game, okay? Have you ever had a stake as big as one I'm willing to back you with? That's the point. How big a stake are you? Just exactly what you asked for, son, all the way. There are some conditions. Conditions? I do all the betting. No matter where the dice are, I do the betting, all of it. I handle all the money. What do I do? You just rack it. Oh, well, now I got, I got, I got a bet now. You place one chip on something that I don't call, and the deal's over. Wait a minute. Now listen. The best odds you can get at that table are about two percent against you. I think these Nevada gamblers get fat on an edge of anything less than two percent. Now here are the real percentages. Gamblers are a breed. They can't quit when they're ahead. But if they do win, the house stays with them. But if the suckers lose, they can't stay because they go broke. Now, here's where the little better is cut off. The bigger better, cut off there. The boys with 40, 50 grand to lose, they get cut off down there. What? What does that have to mean? Well, it's the sucker's winnings. There are no lines there because the house doesn't go broke. It can hold out. Now, if you want to win 100 grand, you're going to have to play like the house hot or cold, stay all the way. Commit your whole 10 million. Well, it's as simple as that. I don't really need you, do I? You need me. What for? 
But first, you bet like a sucker. The second, you... To explain that, I'd have to be a psychiatrist, which I am not. I'm just a player. I like you. Boy, come on, son. We're wasting time. Mr. Hagen, Marty Cozy wants another thousand. All right, let him have it. But that's it until tomorrow afternoon. Excuse me, Carl, did you happen to see that girl I was with a little while ago? Didn't everybody? Who is she? I don't know. I understand she's getting divorced from the Second National Bank of Cincinnati. Check her out if you want. No, well, thanks, doesn't matter. <laughs> She gets every disease on television. Five, five and three. Here she goes. Come on, Six easy. Let's go, baby. Hey, I'm hiring a two dollar pistol. Hold it, Miss. Place the numbers two hundred dollars, three hundred and six and eight. You heard the man? You have a bet, sir. Let her loose. Come on, Come on. Eight's the winning point. Oh, come on, there. Oh, there the eight. Off on the come out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, right, I Buy that for you. Buy that for you. Just hold the money. Press the five. Press the five. Off on the come out. Five, 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 Raise the limit. How much you care to bet, sir? Mr. Colwell wants to bet $1,000 on the come. That's right. $1,000 on the come. $1,000 on the come. Put him up. $1,000 come. $1,000? You just win that buck. Nine. 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 Can we go? Just relax, honey. Another thousand on the come. Another thousand on the come. Thousand dollars. You have a bit. All right, Edie, you little big bikini rat. Do something. Right here. Sixty-three. Grab three to the come. Place off on number ten. Full odds and another thousand on the come. You have a bit. Seven. Pay the last count. Okay, now, honey. Let me try those on for size. A thousand on the pass. Look, shouldn't we kind of kind of see how they're rolling first? Everybody knows how they're rolling. They don't the state. Uh, I'd, I'd like to place a bet. You're my guest. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. Have it your way. I'm sorry. Yeah, I bet they're winning, too. Twelve, Mr. Caldwell. You sure this is the way to bet? The only way. Six, one or easy. How much credit do we give Caldwell? All he wants. Good evening, Carl. Good evening. He looks like he needs an oxygen tent. Last 15 minutes, he's been doing rather well. 
Came back eight and nine thousand. Old ten roller. What are all the bets on the numbers with the boxes? The numbers and the odds. You place a bet on a number and put up some more and take the odds from the house. You get two to one on the four and ten. Odds, is that good? If he throws a four, it's worth five thousand dollars. Seven and out. But he didn't. You got to shoot his number before he shoots a seven. But I thought seven was good. It is only on the first roll. I don't think I'm very lucky to you. Maybe not yet. Come on, son. Let's jack up to bed and win some money. Boy, we came here to gamble. Anything wrong, Mr. Colwell? Yeah, yes, there certainly is. I'd like to raise the limit. How much, sir? Two thousand. Of course. Mr. Colwell has two thousand on everything. No, he doesn't. Are you telling me what I want? Not anymore. Hey, where are you going? I'd rather play these sluts. They don't talk back. Now, listen, we had a deal. Did we have a deal or did we not have a deal? We're hooked a little and you're pulling out on me. Yeah, if you raise the limit. How am I going to ever get even if I don't? If you want to get even, our home in bed. Son, you are making $40,000 jokes. How are we going to get it back? The same way they got it. Playing their game, the grind. We grind it. As long as your knees can hold out until the dice change. You... You think they're going to change? They always have. If you can hold out, the dice will change. I told you it was going to be a long wait. Oh, boy, you sure told me that, all right. All right, let's get back to work. anything like it. Why don't you take a walk? Well, you think I'm salty, boy? No, you wouldn't. You just play the odds in the charts. Why don't you take a walk? I'm going to do. I'm going to do just that little thing. I'm going to the bar. Give him whatever he wants. A thousand on the line. Hello, Mr. Caldwell. Oh, oh, hello there, young lady. Oh. How are you doing? Up the year in quicksand. Sixty-five, seventy thousand dollars in. You have a deck of cars? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I don't understand it. Well, you could be right. If I'd had my own way, I'd be in five times deeper than I am right now. But you have to have patience. They say he's very good. Oh, hon, he's a good loser, that's for sure. Ice water. Like a computer, it keeps subtracting. That's what you have to be. A good loser. Yeah, I got news for you. I'm a very bad loser. Very bad loser. Well, back in the soft lines. Give him this for me. Lady, I'll try anything. Boy's gonna stay warm. I just got this feeling. Uh, how about five thousand dollars? Anything you say, Mr. Colwell. You said I call the shots. Okay, boy, but you're taking all the fun out of this thing. You know that. Would you mind if I put down a hundred dollars on eleven for the boys? It's your privilege. Well, thank you it's for the boys. And hundred dollars on eleven for the boys. Thank you, sir. Here they go now. You know, on eleven, a winner. You see what you just cost me? You're getting emotional. For $75,000, son, I'm entitled to a little emotion.
It's only a firing light out there, Vicky. Yeah, that old man's getting pale. He's in over a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand? Yeah, you heard me. Hey, what do you say our chances are that Carl's going to give us all a great big bonus? Same bets, gentlemen? Same bets. Thousand on the line, place the numbers off on the come out. What's the bad news? Winner seven, winner pay the line. Coming out now, that same good roll is coming out. If they do it out, perhaps 70 11. Eight is the eight, mark eight. Now bet it the hard way. Eight is the winning point. Now come, key at every roll. Winner eight made it easy. That's a winner. Bam. Seven. Come out there. Here they go. Five, your winner, winner, five. Here. Coming out, place your bets. Battle of honor. Come here. And a point, points, ten. Odds as usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winner ten, front line. Made it easy. It's more like it, boy. Beats losing. I suppose some jockey from outer space is betting dollars and can't lose the dice. Caldero, they're betting with both hands, a couple of thousand a smash. What do you want to do? Me? I'm going to take a nap. think they do? Come on. We're killing them, son. Come on, row. Two hundred grand? Two hundred grand and six and change. Come on, row. <laughs> pass. What do you... What do you mean, pass? We want a two hundred grand. What more do you want? Wait a minute. What are you talking about? Yeah, we made a deal. I thought you was a player. You haven't got a gamble in you, even with somebody else's money. You're a dollar short. Stop looking for a fizz like that jockey. Boy, they bank this game for little guys like you, little one-shot dime store wonders trying to hit and run. I thought you had some class, son. You're strictly penny ante. Listen, we had a long weekend. Let's not get anybody mad at each other. I ask you what you'd do if you had $10 million and you said you'd go for 20. Well, now you got to start on. Now's your chance to double it. No, thanks. I'm getting off. Why now? 
Because I just happen to have something to spend it on. You cash me in, I'll pick it up in your room. 208? Oh, she bet me this whole store. Yes, sir? What are you talking about? I don't know. You're way over my head. Well, I'll tell you. I put that punk in business because I thought we could take this joint. I thought we could take this thing apart like a dollar watch. I thought we could make them prove whether they're running a gambling joint or a pawn shop or a loan office for busted bus drivers. I just once, I'd like to see them gamble the way they deal. Just one time. Just one time, I'd like to throw them. Yes, sir. Cash me in. And put it in a sack. You put it in a brown paper sack, a nickel sack like the onions came in, just like I dreamed it, boys. That for once, the sack I was holding wasn't empty. that you belong to the house. But you can quit. I can do better than that. I can leave town. Did you say Thursday was the end of six weeks? Where are you taking me? I don't know. Money, Carl. A beautiful meadow in England. Dipped in the edge things. I'll see you in 15 minutes. I'll pick up the money. We can count it later. You haven't slept. I've got months to sleep. Just take the money. You getting it, buddy? There you go. You're a little short. Oh, am I? About 90,000. Well, that's a natural mistake. How's that? You didn't make $10 million by splitting it down the middle. Uh, you can bet on that, boy. I wouldn't even be gambling. Let's have it, Colwin. Boy, did you really think I was going to give you $100,000 for one lousy run of the dice? Why, I've been doing business all my life with two-bit hustlers like you. No, I put them in business, they make a buck. But 50% of my action? How crazy are you, son? Why, I backed that play with a million dollars. I got the limit off. I made you a player. Now, you ought to be grateful to be getting ten. I made a deal for a hundred thousand. That's what I'm getting. What if you don't? Might just have to kill you. <laughs> no, you won't, boy. No, I seen you gamble. You know, sucker. Now, you wouldn't bet ninety thousand against a life sentence, would you? <laughs> All right, make it 15. What? You want me to pick up? 
up that phone there and call the house. You want me to get some law up here? You want me to have them run you out of town? What makes you think a cheap shill like you can come up against a man like me here? You got a phone, pick it up. I've seen you gamble too. Go ahead. You were too old for this, Tex. Think you got shortchanged? By eighty-five thousand. Pay him. What do you mean pay him? I already paid him. A hundred thousand, darling. Pay him. And go wash your face. You know I can't stand the sight of blood. You have to understand him. Well, the price is right. Sleeping at all? Where? Did he leave after I did? No. What's the matter with you? Kid? Somebody swung with my money. He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't, huh? Well, let me say he couldn't. He had three pills and a drink and went to bed. He could have had somebody else do it for him. One minute after you left, he was flat on his back in there. At least smart enough he could have set it up before I ever came up here to collect. Do you believe that? Well, who else? If he intended to get it back anyway, do you think he would have gone to all this trouble? No, I guess not. Have you talked to uh, Carl Hagen? No. No, not yet. Want me to wake Ed up? No, 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 no. I can't stand his laugh.
Put him down. And get me some milk. Feel better now? Yeah. Hmm? Got a sore head, and I've got a sore hand. What's eating him? You know it's eating me. I think one of your boys rolled me. Thanks, Carl. You played a real smart. Go pour yourself a drink. You bug because I steered some boob into beating you? Bring me one. Are you kidding, hard liquor? Just bring it, will you, please? Pete, I don't have to tell you, we're delighted when some guy like Caldwell makes a score. Brings him back. And half of Texas. Thank you. The fact is, we owe you something. You've already paid me. Good rap on the head. Can you look me square in the eye and mean that? Uh -uh. It's advertising. You seen the dice on the satin cushion out in the front window? Some college joker held those for 26 straight passes. We want people to win all the money they can because they'll never be able to win enough to eat into our percentage. So stop talking like one of those suckers. Someone with more guts than brains saw you and Caldwell cash in and just thought he'd be a winner on one easy step. Hmm? Okay. Okay, okay. I know how you feel. No, no, you don't. You never felt like I do right now. It's not just the score. It's the girl, hmm? Yeah. What a way to face the morning. Pete, have you got a minute? The longer I wait, the more it hurts. Look, Carl, I'm sorry I shut off my big mouth like a civilian. Oh, you shut up and listen. Castro took blame. Amanda is a pro. Her name is Carol Greenlee. She dealt 21 down there. I told you I'd run a check on her. Why didn't you tip me? Well, you were busy cleaning me out. Carl, can you stop him? Hmm? Well, I don't see why not. I can't get very far across this desert. Can you hold him? Sure. It's complicated, like everything else in this world. But you've got a lot on your side. It'll be a big wrap. Salt and battery, grand larceny, the whole book. Wait a minute. Say when. Get it. A hundred grand? You're not acting like a player. What could I prove? I didn't see who hit me, and they're smart enough not to have the money on them. The only reason I had a target of a hundred was because of her. It was a package. Nice, wonderful girl. All the money to take care of her. What good is one thing without the other? Good name for a bad song. You know what they say. Do unto others. Easy come, easy go. What are they saying these days? I think they're saying the biggest sucker is the guy who thinks he has nothing to learn. You sound cynical. Only about men and women. You let me know, I'll make the call. Ah, oh, let it go. Somebody will catch up with him sooner or later. Well, everybody can't be as stupid as me. Hey, Pete. You 
want me to shield? Nope. Just a little something from the house. Try me again. thinking of doing what I think you are, go do it. And if you're not, you're sure not going to live with me. And I don't think you'll have much fun living with yourself. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Apologizing. Oh. Yeah. Matter of fact. Yeah. Seven away, less come wins. Well, gentlemen, what can I take you for this morning? All we've got, Pete. Shoot a buck. You are the first. Hold the dice. Uh, morning. Morning. Morning, Mrs. Coldwell. I've seen worse. You feel all right, Pete? Well, I can still shoot the dice. Uh, what I really want... Uh, I apologize, son. <laughs> okay. I don't want you to think that I was, I was sore about that money. I, what I, I figured that my partner was walking out on me, was quitting me. The partner with the brains, too. Yeah. You just tell him to forget it. Maybe we'll all see each other next year. Have you got a nerve? What do you, what do you say, son? You want to try it again? Try again? 90-10? <laughs> 50-50. That was supposed to be our deal last time. Oh, that Bernie boy, this time I'm giving you my word. You better take him up on it. Any day Ed Caldwell uh, apologizes and gives his word, too, that's a big day. Is it all right with you? Okay. One more day. When you get tired, I'll be at the bar. Thank you. I call all the shots. Same deal, same deal, same deal as before. Now we're going to have to have a limit off here, boys. Uh, 2000 per like a drink. Coming out. 500 on. Well, I only have 24 hours. Coming out. Yo, love it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, we're going to make history. They never stop us now. Well, at least we'll have a little fun. Oh, I'm going to make a bed. Oh, I'm sorry. 